Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of um, the Mark II version of Steel Drum Percussion Room, a sample library from Sound Dust, which is me, Pendle. Um, so what I've got here is two contact instruments open, both on MIDI Channel 1, which will make sense in a minute why I've done that. Um, at the moment I've got Steel Drums muted and what we're demonstrating here is the drum computer I'm just simply holding down C very very low C key on my keyboard which triggers this sequence and now just to show you how we can adjust the samples pitch and um, effects on various samples which are being triggered by the drum computer all very simple and straightforward at this stage. So that's the that's the, all of the snares. There's lots of different snares in this whole program. And this affects all of the snares. And likewise the other instruments. So we've got a very squashed kick drum. And a very rumbly snare. But we can very easily change that. Well, it's keeping the same instrument sounds at the same time. Think of the hi-hats. Now here's the drum computer. I've just changed to a different key or a different note. And as you can see, you've got seven different drum channels and you can program each one in a good old step style. So here we go, empty. And let's add in some kicks. Let's yeah, get rid of some of the squishiness. Make it a bit tighter. We've also, we can adjust the pitch of the kicks as well. So you've got velocity and position, and then you've got pitch here as well which you can also quickly clear. So let's add in the steel drums as well. Now these are all playing in sync and as soon as I hit the key again, the note again, then we'll get two sequences playing in sequence with each other, in sync with each other. So let's just add in some random stuff. I just think it's a really nice way of quickly building up kind of rhythmic ideas. I mean, it comes with um, Lots of presets already I've done, but you can just very quickly and easily build your own. And the lovely knob section in Steel Drum, you can adjust the sound of the overall kit. Um, there's lots and lots of different steel bass, steel drum bass sounds from a kind of knackered old kit I got hold of. It's not partic particularly in tune. It's handy. There we go, let's just add some more random notes. And we can also do a 30 second grid for, oops, sorry about that, 30 second grid for super duper kind of 30 seconds. Oop. So that's added in the percussion room as well. Let's put some more beat based things, let's put some snares in. Yeah, let's make it a bit tighter. Tune in where we want it. Okay, so that's some kind of kick style stuff. Different kick this time. You can also choose yourself which sounds you triggered. I mean there's lots and lots of different sounds in both kits and you can choose within the drum computer and the gamelan machine which sound you actually trigger. And you've got 12 sounds you can choose from. There you go. Slightly groovy.
So basically we can do, just by loading the two up together, putting them on the same MIDI channel, and playing from C0 upwards, those bottom keys give you options to just get these kind of sequences going and then fiddle around in real time if you wish. Or, of course, you can just program in the normal way. I've just been having hours of fun with this myself, just kind of building kind of crazy sequences and loops and what have you. There you go, so you can do polyphonic stuff with steel drums. A free update for anyone who's already got steel drum percussion room and it's the usual 15 pounds if you haven't bought it before thank you very much goodbye